Welcome to Traveler Glory. Today we are going to explore the history and current conflicts between Palestine and Israel. Let's journey through time. Beginning around 1000 years before Christ with King David's conquest of Jerusalem. This ancient city, sacred to Jews, Christians, and Muslims, has been the center of national aspirations for both Israelis and Palestinians for millennia. Fast forward to the reign of Herod the Great, a monarch known for his architectural prowess and his efforts to rebuild the city. But the city's evolution was not always peaceful. The violent crusades between Christians and Muslims left indelible scars and further complicated the city's intricate tapestry. The 20th century brought new challenges with the British occupation during World War I, introducing a new player to an already complex situation. The culmination of this era led to the pivotal moment in 1947. When the United Nations partitioned Palestine, a decision that still reverberates today. But history is not just a series of dates and events. It's the people, the cultures, and the struggles. Have you ever wondered what has been happening recently in the Israel-Palestine conflict? The landscape of the conflict has been marked by an uptick in violent incidents, painting a stark picture of the ongoing strife during the overlap of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan and the Jewish holiday of Passover, tensions surged, leading to a series of unfortunate events. In Tel Aviv, a car driven by a Palestinian citizen of Israel rammed into a group of tourists, resulting in the death of an Italian citizen and injuries to others. Not far away, near the occupied West Bank, two British Israeli women were tragically shot and killed by Palestinian assailants. But the tension did not stop there. Armed Israeli police stormed Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque, one of the holiest sites in Islam, leading to clashes with Palestinian worshippers. The display of force against worshippers, caught on social media videos, further fanned the flames of the conflict. Yet amidst this escalating tension, there is a discernible shift in the winds of public opinion. A recent Gallup poll revealed that sympathy for Palestinians among U.S. adults is at an all-time high of 31 percent. The reality for Palestinians living under Israeli occupation or blockade remains unchanged. While the Democratic Party is experiencing some movement towards pro-Palestinian sentiments, it is not the predominant position within the party. This shift in public opinion, however, has yet to bring significant change for Palestinians living under Israeli occupation or blockade. But what sparked these recent incidents? To answer this, we need to look at the clashes at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque. At the heart of the recent escalation in the Israel-Palestine conflict are the clashes at Al-Aqsa Mosque, a site revered by both Muslims and Jews. A sudden surge of violence, triggered by a myriad of religious and political tensions, resulted in more than 150 Palestinians being injured. The injuries, largely caused by rubber bullets, stun grenades, and beatings with police batons, were a chilling reminder of the bitter conflict that has spanned decades. The Israeli riot police were on high alert following a series of deadly Arab street attacks. The situation escalated rapidly when Palestinian worshippers reportedly hurled firecrackers and stones towards the police forces and the nearby Jewish prayer area. In response, the police entered the mosque compound, dispersing the crowd to ensure the safety of worshippers. Yet the intervention resulted in three officers being injured and hundreds of Palestinians detained. In the aftermath of these clashes, international efforts for mediation were set in motion. Egypt, 
Qatar and the United Nations stepped in, aiming to prevent further escalation. The Palestinian group Hamas, meanwhile, demanded the release of detainees, an end to provocative visits to the Al-Aqsa Mosque, and a halt to military incursions into the West Bank. In a partial concession, Israel released all but 100 of the detainees. The Palestinian Foreign Ministry held Israel responsible for the violence, a sentiment echoed by Jordan, which condemned the police raid as a flagrant violation around a thousand years before the Common Era. King David's conquest of Jerusalem marked the city's first significant conflict. The reign of Herod the Great followed centuries later, his efforts to rebuild the city leaving an indelible mark on its skyline. The violent crusades between Christians and Muslims in the Middle Ages added another layer of complexity to Jerusalem's history. Then, in the 20th century, the British occupation during World War I brought the city under foreign rule once again. In the lead-up to the creation of the State of Israel, tensions between Arab and Jewish communities escalated, adding a fresh chapter in the city's long story of conflict. These moments, among others, have shaped Jerusalem into the city we know today. Understanding the history of Jerusalem is crucial for comprehending the present and building a better future for the city. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel. See you soon.